Have you ever wanted to explore the planets and travel back in time? You're in luck with our place in space. I'm Sochasm, your adventure guide. Before we begin, there is a serious matter to talk about. This video will cover some topics like slavery, uh, the potato famine, and World War II. Nothing graphic, nothing scary. So, but otherwise, it's pretty harmless. This is free to play, and it's actually extremely fun. So let's begin. Monitor Person up here. your home, oh. and everyone else's. The human race has always thought that the Earth was so big that it needed to be divided up into smaller bits. Although we haven't always agreed on the best ways to do this. Explore our place in space in this unique Minecraft educational adventure and travel through the solar system and Earth's history. Space is big, really, really big. To demonstrate this, as you drive in your little car to, let's say, Mars, that would take about 148 years. As I said, space is big. Once you reach Mars, you can travel back in time on Earth and witness some of the issues we faced in our collective past. War, famine, slavery, even fake news. Learn about us and them and why, really, we are all us. Let's go. Begin. Cute. Look at cute stars. Most of the planets in our solar system have moons. Earth has one moon. We call it the moon because for a long time we thought it was the only one. Our moon has lots of craters, created when space rocks hit the surface at a high speed. Scientists think the moon was formed long ago when the Earth crashed into an object about the size of Mars. Traveling to the moon took about a year. If you were to travel back one year in time, Things on Earth will not have changed very much. Let's travel back in time and explore. When you return, use a dispenser to summon the car for your next journey. This is uh, some exciting music. I need your help to figure out if my favorite Minecrafter, Bedrock Banjo, really did find Wizard Keen's legendary pocket watch. Or is it fake news? lunch breaks at school. Talk to each of the kids to find out if Bedrock Banjo really did find Wizard's Keen watch or no. Bedrock Banjo sounds actually really cool. Doesn't it? Aaron's brother said Bedrock Banjo would never fake anything. He is the best Minecrafter and a true fan would never question him. Aaron's brother also believes that the moon is made out of cheese because Banjo said so. Ah, that's... It's that's a warning sign. I don't believe in Wizard Keen. The blocky wiki reports that Wizard Keen's pocket watch was removed from the game during the last update in the game's patch notes. In fact, many different sources suggest that Wizard Keen never actually existed and it's a prank by prank by developers. I wonder if that's kind of like Hero Brian. Michelle, what do you have to say? I have a screenshot of Bedrock Banjo talking to Wizard King. It must be true. Keen. It must be true. Bedrock Banjo friends have used different skins in the past. I suppose it might be a prank. Got some uh, graffiti here. Bedrock Banjo forever. It's as clear as day. Bedrock Banjo holding a watch. Yeah, so Bedrock Boundro did visit a watch factory in a couple years ago, and come to think of it, it does look like the same picture. So you're interested in Bedrock Banjo? This guy is a total faker. Well, how do I know? Well, I saw a Hoot post that Bedrock Banjo did not find a pocket watch. And that the Hoot post was has 2 million likes, so it must be true. Okay, okay, the replies to Hoot post do not show that some people believe it and some people don't. It's really divided by the community. And I wanted to stop. I think this is fake. You thought it was fake. All of the factual evidence seemed to suggest it wasn't true, even though some people still believe it. Let's head back on our journey. This reminds me of it. You know what scene where they have the where they visit 
that one planet where they build planets. Anyways, back to movie. Journey to Venus. Venus is the second planet closest to the sun and is the hottest of all the planets. It is covered in thousands of active volcanoes. Venus is sometimes called Earth's sister planet, as it is almost exactly the same size as Earth. At certain times of the year, Venus is easily visible in the evening. Or Our journey planet. to Venus has taken around 78 years. If we travel back in time, the year would be 1944, and a second world war is raging against the Earth, across the Earth. Let's visit an ordinary family in wartime Belfast and explore. When you reach... When you return, use a dispenser to summon the car your next journey. Belfast, as in Belfast, Ireland. You're going to Ireland. Oh. What are you doing wandering the streets? Come inside and lend a hand. Grandpa's taking vegetables in the garden for supper, and your younger brother Michael is doing his homework. I'm tired from all the working in the munitions factory all week. The house is a mess. Get the brass from underneath the stairs and give the ornaments a polish. Or why don't you help your brother with his homework upstairs? And we have one mystery here. What happened to these flower plots? Flower pots. Look at that. It's one. Two. Has there been a uh, strike already? Four. Recently joined the Women's Auxiliary Air Force. Can you help me? Okay, so algebra problem is... Nope. I'm not, I'm not saying that. <laughs> but I am really worried about Dad. He left to fight in a war. I haven't seen him in months. He writes to us all. You can read some of his letters if you like. I do miss him. I think I shall write him later instead of do my algebra homework. Perhaps you can help Grandpa in the garden? It'll be dinner time soon. Where are these letters? All right, let's go help Grandpa. This house is really compact. Like, it's really believable and adorable. Is this another flower pot? Yes! Five! I'm collecting flowers! There's... Look at this. I got flowers in wartime. Isn't that peaceful? Where are you? <laughs> okay, anyway. Grandpa! There you are, young one. Come to help. Well, you are too late. I've, I finished digging the vegetables for dinner. However, I do need help building the Anderson shelter. There's a, if there's an air raid, we can all, all hide in the shelter and be safe from the falling bombs. I've t placed a plan on the back wall. It has to be built exact specifications. Take a look and see if you can help build it while I wash the veg. You didn't take your flower, Grandpa. Very rude. Does anything happen if we just hang out here? From the sun. It is about half the size of the Earth and is the second smallest planet in the solar system. It is also known as the red planet because there is a lot of iron oxide on the surface of Mars. This is similar to the rust that we see on Earth. Again, I think it's cute how they did the stars. Like, they're actually star shaped. Even though stars really are just uh, all the gas in rock. All right. Here we are. 
The journey to Mars took 148 years in the car. If we would travel back in time, the, it would be 1847. In America, a brand new type of wire fence is being invented. Barbed wire starts, started out as a fence for cattle and soon becomes a symbol of oppression and war. Oh, I like this music. Howdy, stranger. My newspaper needs a front page story fast. Unfortunately, the only people in this town are cowboys, ranchers, and indigenous tribes. Stories are thin on the ground. I never heard that saying before, thin on the ground. I did hear Farmer Joseph has invented a new type of wire fence. Would you be able to speak to him and find out more? I know it's not the most exciting story, but rural news report- That's ah, rural news reporting for you. The people want stories about cattle and land. Come back when you have at least interviewed three pe different people about the wire fence of his. Remember, it's always wise to get different viewpoints report and reporting the news. Joseph Gildon. Hello there, it's an honor to speak to the press. I am pleased to announce a fencing revolution. The barbed wire fence. This mass-produced fence will change America forever. As you may know, wire fencing to date has been a failure. It is easy for cattle to be, to push over, and it's been a waste of, mo of money. My new barbed wire, barbed wire fencing will allow landowners to claim and divide land, protecting the cattle and keeping out unwanted natural predators and people. This is nice. Look at that. Look at this. really like this one. It reminds me of Southern Utah. Okay, let's talk to the rancher. Bedrock country. Uh, ah, the press. So you want my opinion about barbed wire that old Jos Joseph has patented. <laughs> yeah, on the face of it, it looks, seems like a good idea, but for small ranchers like myself, it divides the public up. I rely on public grazing for my cattle, and fresh pastures are becoming Hard to find. If the barbed wire gets put up across the plains, I won't be able to drive my cattle across two new pastures as I did in the past. I'm afraid I'll have to sell up or join a larger ranch just to survive. In my opinion, it is bad for the independent rancher. In some in research history I did for a book about, there was a lot of really strange wars in the West. Like uh, sheep versus cow. I'm not. I'm serious. They were getting really mad about sheep were grazing in, like Colorado. And then cows, and so they were like killing the other animals in like rancher wars. And as it turns out, they needed the wandering sheep because the sheep actually was eating like the thistle that made the cow sick. Yeah, it's a really weird time. Indigenous people. We called it barbed wire fence the devil's rope because it's harmful to the wild bison that get tangled and die. We are nomadic families who travel across the land and believe it, don't believe in fencing off the natural world. For us, we're a part of nature. We don't own it. Ooh, I'm going to save that one. All right. Go back. Well, that's it for this episode. There'll be more coming soon. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the planets and traveling back in time. If you liked any of this, please consider liking and subscribing. Any growth would be amazing right now anytime and i appreciate anybody who watches and re just watches this until then have a good one bye